Tonight in our 7 News flashback, money. Got your attention now, haven't I? It's been almost half a century since we traded shillings and pence for decimal currency and next week marks 30 years since the dollar coin arrived. In come the dollars, in come the cents To replace the pounds and the shillings and the pence Be prepared folks when the coins begin to mix On the 14th of February 1966 Meet a character made of money Who are you? I'm Dollar Bill He guided a generation through a currency revolution The base unit is a dollar which is made up of 100 cents. 95% of the world's population live in countries using decimal currencies. And this is the largest coin, the 50 cent. It started round and became 12-sided for easier recognition. In 1967, a $5 note was added to the collection. The average weekly wage back then was $60. Inflation saw a $100 note added. Then, in May 1984, there was another big change. I have something here for all Australians. The new $1 coin. From now on, it will take the place of the old $1 note. They're small, so they're not too heavy in your pocket or your purse. Treasurer Paul Keating started the first production run. Just like the change to decimal currency, there was an extensive education campaign. The first time you get one, take a good look at it. It has a distinct yellow-gold appearance with the image of Her Majesty the Queen on one side and five kangaroos on the other. The old dollar notes had to be replaced because they wore out within a few months. Their replacement is much tougher. You'll still see 1984 dated dollars in your change today. In 1988, the $2 coin arrived. The same year, Australia invented the world's first polymer note. All denominations were plastic by 1996. Almost 20 years on, another revolution is underway. With more and more people using tap-and-go technology, we're using even less cash. We're starting to see the, the effect of, uh, obviously, electronic transactions, so it's a very slow decline for us. The Australian Mint was built for decimalisation. It will turn 50 next year. Robots have replaced people. But old currency hasn't been forgotten. There is a great demand for, uh, for coinage, uh, collecting of coins in, in, in Australia. Mark Duff is a coin and banknote expert. He makes money by selling it. Serious collectors spend up big on older coins. This is a holy dollar from 1813. It's Australia's first uh, coin struck in Australia. This particular example is 165000 not everyone spends that much. Tourists pay around double the face value to take home popular collectible Australian notes. Technology may be moving on, but the experts say collectors will ensure there's always a place for our old currency. The antique coins that will survive will get people going back into our, our history. Stand by for a cashless society and for Sydney's Mother's Day forecast after the break.